We're always worried about informed consent and is it truly informed for anything, any um, experiment, any type of reason, you know, therapy. But the hope is that people do understand that um, these um, the informed consent must be provided after the embryos have been created, usually a year after, um, so that people have had a chance to consider, consider the implications. Uh, what's even more, um, I, for me, troubling is to ask people to, uh, people like you who might want to donate embryos for research that has nothing to do with reproduction. And so we're actually paying young women to give eggs, to donate eggs. And in order to donate eggs, they have to go through an IVF procedure, which has many risks and discomforts and um, is not a pleasant process. And, and some risks we don't even know, or some risks we haven't been able to determine. Exactly. That's ex exactly right. And so that's a problem. On the other hand, um, they happen to be the, the embryos that are created, like fresh eggs, are conceivably the best. And um, so it's, it's an interesting dilemma. In um, the state of Massachusetts, they decided that they would ask women to donate eggs, but they did not want to use any form of coercion, so there was no monetary compensation. No one donated. Okay, so that was clear. So New York decided that they would provide the same compensation to women donating eggs for research as women donating eggs for fertility processes. So they give $8,000 to a woman who um, decides to donate eggs. And, and you could say, well, that's coercive, and maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I mean, it's... Well, that brings up the question of, you know, if someone is undergoing an elective procedure, which, which, undergoes, which involves some risk, and could they, could they undergo the same procedure for research purposes and ought it, ought it to be held to a different standard if it's for research as opposed to for the purpose of helping somebody else, you know, have a child? I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not sure. Well, they have to have the same procedures. They can't cut corners for one or the other. It, they're both the same procedures. It's just that once the embryos, once the eggs are um, retrieved from the woman, um, they either undergo fertility, they you know, right. are placed with sperm and, and create an embryo, or that then is implanted or stored for a couple, or else they um, may be frozen and given to researchers. But you know, even though the procedure is the same, and and therefore presumably the risks are the same, and the, the compensation is the same, it but it's not considered coercive to pay a woman eight thousand dollars to to have her ovary stimulated to donate eggs for somebody else's, mm -hmm. you know, childbearing. Yeah. Well, it's it's a dilemma. It's an interesting conundrum, and uh, we don't. I don't think we really have no. a good answer yet. But those are good questions to consider. Mm -hmm.